Hello and welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to continue with our CYSA plus uh, labs. The second lab is analyzing output from security appliance logs. I've already run my machine and all that. So let's get started and start looking, uh, looking at the instructions. So these are the Oh, you have to, it means you have to start multiple machines. I see only one VM. If there are more than one, I cannot see these one DC one lamp and all that. Maybe they are part of uh, <clears throat> oh Hyper V. I now I will see them. So they were Hyper V within a Hyper V, and you can see right there DC one lamp sign CM one and RT1 local so f first thing we're, we're gonna do is RT1 local <clears throat> it's off let's start it to turn it on right there connect <clears throat> so basically this is my virtual machine uh, and it's a virtual machine within a virtual machine. All right, so I have taken the liberty to, uh, you can see, run all the virtual machines. Now we can get started. I don't want to wait and then uh, start them one by one. So we, uh, in this scenario, we don't have a firewall in our uh, network, but we do have a sniffer or a sensor. So we got this sensor from Security Onion, like this lab got it. And they want to use the port mirroring feature of a router to mirror all the traffic on that interface that we will be running our virtual machine CM1. Host computer. RT1 local VM select settings. So let's go back to RT1 local select setting. So actually, this is the RT1 local. I'm going to shut it down. All right, so I had to reboot that machine. Maybe it's uh, like it can't handle all the virtual machine. So it wasn't uh, getting my commands, but uh, let's continue now. Follow, keep to follow instruction. Let's do it like this. Hyper-V manager, it wants us to click next, next local vm rt1 local it's running we can turn it off by selecting this now it's off and now we can go to settings so ethernet net eth0 that is can i bump these things i want to so that's the ETH0 interface. We click on that. Trust me, I'm trying advanced feature. So first you can see it's VLocal, it's 
be locally selected nothing else then we click on advanced feature port mirroring mirroring mode is right here select source and click OK that's it <coughs> okay connection window from the C CM1 and login using the username CM and password is this so we now we went to CM1 it's already running all we have to do is click connect the window should pop up and we have our uh, username field S I E M. The password is P A dollar dollar W zero R D. Uh, not sure if there is a period at the end or not. Something. What we can say? Nothing happened, right? I believe something is happening. Okay. So we are in, I believe. Let's click next. Manage alerts. On the this one, CM1. Right click S G G U I open it will be this right click open so the password is again same localhost port is that username is S I E M and password is P A R W zero R D. Now this will tell what to mirror. Challenge number one. What is the port in use for? Ah, I want to say seven seven three four, but I didn't see that. I okay and that was it <coughs> what's the challenge to before version OS version OS is 0 0.9.0 I would want to say 0 dash dot nine point zero right <clears throat> good all right so on the eth first this is So kind of look like Wireshark 3.19 I don't see 3.19 alert ID must be I see 1.4 I don't see any 3.19 oh right there lower right hand panel click the show rule box
SSH scan right there. It says the potential SSH scan and map scan right there. OS detection, okay. <coughs> Three point two seven right click the value 4 in the CNT field what is CNT right there value 4 view correlated event okay so that's the close now next is click on 3.27 alert ID field and view the menu option oh there is Wireshark these allow you to pivot to viewing the source data in a tool such as Wireshark. Escape to cancel the menu. Okay. Right click the value in the source IP field. Pivot to the information I heard about the database. Okay. So this lab is more like exploring value in the ST field source traffic where is ST I have S port I have D port oh ST is right there update event status get VIE6 Re reconnaissance prop scan oh okay so you updated so where the update will take place is right here in right there this one and select alert 3.31 alert trying to find it can't find it 3.31 alert ID I have yep this time I'm pretty sure I can see 3.31 19 3.20 and then 3.47 I don't see that one uh, because I changed it so these are going away that's what happened. Just control Z work now. Three point three five I can so that's what happened. Is it an escalated event?
Okay. Oh, and I see 195.2.253.93 dot 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 I am cheating here let's see if my cheat will work or not and I did basically I cheated from here because I do not have 3.35 <clears throat> here anymore I pressed the F6 uh, when they had said in the previous screen here they said <coughs> use F6 to categorize the other scan alerts in the same way and I did and I lost a couple of uh, lines here so I cheated I cheated from the picture and it worked 3.90 and 3.91 we that I have I do not have 90 anymore but I have 3.91 <clears throat> so if we it's talking about 3.95 oh, I have 3.95 and it says <clears throat> is it can I make it bigger no this machine okay So right here is this is your information that it's trying to download over here it says it's Trojan but here VBA project possible office document now do we have 3.148 right click it and wire shark wire shark it Analyze the traffic with port 443. It's right there. The first one and the second one. So challenge number four. What is the destination port listed? Uh, which one? Now I have four. 24, 121. Let's see. 24. 121.176.48 Incorrect Yeah, yeah. All four my destination to yeah, yeah. Oh, destination port, not the IP address. Four yep that's it so I learned it from right there it says this arrow says the other port all right so let's keep going close watch shark click OK it's 
starting 24 unfortunately I do not have that anymore either let's reboot it should I yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video here reboot reset everything shouldn't have had to press that F6 and now Windows updating all right so I guess it didn't work uh, I have to completely raise the video and then create a new from scratch so let's keep going help us now uh, we go back see what I can work on 3.35 I do not have challenge 3 4 are done right click IP password starting 24 I still don't have this 24 so I guess it's just like a right click so we're not gonna do the 24 it's just useless I don't know why they even put it there <clears throat> if they didn't want to categorize everything is clear where they been that's the question like and is there a way where I can go and find all of them oh, that's not this one anyway let's click next develop a custom rule right click the test term click open terminal The security onion so that's a looks like to be an Ubuntu then like in Linux So these are the rules these are action list one by one so this portion is saying that basically uh, these are commented right now these are rules but they are commented engine will ignore them but if we were to remove the pound sign oh come on okay now it it's no longer a comment now it will be executed uh, in the uh, brackets it says what the message what this said uh, ID and 
what needs to be um, it's like body of the action item so we're gonna look for the challenge item what is the set for the ICMP detected rule so we have ICMP right here any any ICMP detected the set is one zero 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 I think five zeros and one so one then five zeros and one yep that was it control O and then enter so we're gonna press control O enter so it's it, it says root seven lines now we're gonna press control X we exited out of it and we're gonna run the following command that is sudo rule update sudo rule update now it's pushing the new file waiting for that uh, goat with the wings is it goat running oh that's a pork I believe yep that's a pig now let's go for challenge 6 what version of pulled pork is in use Zero point seven. I will say zero point seven point three. <clears throat> yep. Run the following command to check the newly loaded rule set. Now we're gonna go back. If we have a command prompt, we do. Tail tail is used for uh, last lines of a file. So in this case. We are reading the downloaded dot rules file and we're gonna display its last few lines. <clears throat> so we can see right here our said our last is this was the set that we had uh, uncommented and we we can see it's right there now it's been loaded open a connection window for the lamp vm now let's go to it's already running all we have to do is click connect to display its window <clears throat> lamp login lamp pa and we have the lamp prompt three commands we're gonna ping C4. What C4 stands for? 10.1.0.1. .1. Now 10.1.0.246. destination host unreachable so we should get the <clears throat> oh count for c4 will be count for but uh, we're not uh, getting our reply we are saying count for 
10 dot 0 dot 1 oh no that's why 1 dot 0 dot 1 now still unreachable one seventy two dot sixteen dot zero dot two fifty four unreachable we are unreachable I'm going to shut it down. So we're going to start it again. Is this the correct lamp? Lamp PA. So there is a machine that needs to be up and running or some machine that is uh, blocking ICMP. So we did all this. Are we at the correct lamp? We are. Go here.
So <coughs> I hate it. They make labs that don't work. All right, so let's go and uh, keep going and follow what we can. So sudo nano and cmsm rules local dot rules and we can see it's there. Added the existing line as follows. This one. So what it's saying is, so you change it to 1001, that's what it's saying, why no idea. <clears throat> control O, enter, control X, exit, sudo rules update, sudo rule. They did. Come on, not one. zero new zero deleted one enabled rules oh right there one nine five eight five one nine five eight five no enable rules the right says disable total rules What is the number of enabled rules? That is it. <clears throat> Okay, never mind then. If we go to lamp, try to run it again, sudo ping c 
So we can skip this, we can skip this, I'm doing it only in the hope that somebody sees and fix whatever the problem is. Now it's asking me on CM1. There is no new alert going to be generated because it was never uh, pinged. Now it's asking me to run DCM, DC1. Finally, it's been booted up. Let's see. Add password Run as administrator. Oh, it's already administrator, I believe. Ping ten dot one dot zero dot fifty four. Let's see. Now I am getting a. Do I get to one? I do. So it was blocking from lamp. Yes, it's being blocked from lamp. Where is the refresh button? There is no refresh. Like in Yeah, still nothing.
All right, so. DC one ping ten dot two fifty four <coughs> ping one seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot two fifty four uh, I did not say a pseudo rule update didn't do that it's must be in update all right so it says 64 I hope that's the one yep all lords have been triggered yeah <laughs> they, they never were on the following command press the new rule on the lamp run the following command sudo ping c40 dot one dot dot one still unreachable Take the lower priorities trigger the lord from the IT room. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this video here. I hope this video has helped you in any way. Uh, it was a bummer. I could not run those uh pings from lamp but they were being blocked for some reason but uh, we see that the other host is actually up and running because when we were pinging it from the uh, domain controller this right here you can see it was successful all right so i hope to see you in the next video